this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make the, the Pandora battery and a magic memory stick um, with custom firmware. Now, you need custom firmware to be able to use this. Um, eventually, if I don't already, I will have a video up on how to make a, uh, custom, uh, a Pandora battery and magic memory stick without custom firmware. So, this program works for official firmware and custom firmware. Um, Alright, so first what you want to do is um, if you have the VSH menu enabled in your PSP, just push select and click and hit reset device. And now after you hit reset device, just hold down the R trigger. Um, you need to go into recovery mode, so if you don't have VSH menu enabled, just hold down the hold up the power button until it turns off and then wait a few seconds, turn it back on, and hold the R trigger. Now, once uh, recovery mode is enabled, um, go to configuration, and scroll down to you hit game folder homebrew, um, and it should say currently enabled either 1.5 kernel, 1.50 kernel, or whatever uh, firmware you're running, custom firmware you're running. I have 3.90 and I have the kernel add-on, the 1.5 kernel add-on. So make sure the kernel add-on, the kernel is above 1.5. So whatever it is, make sure it's above 1.5. So I set mine to 3.9. Now head back and just go down to exit. Now you want to plug your PSP in using your USB cable, or you can use a, a card reader for this. Now go over to USB connection. Once it opens up, um, just figure out what letter it is, or you don't even have to, just, just minimize it if it opens up. Now, you want to make sure you've already downloaded the uh, link in the description, the Pandora Maker file that I put together. Um, just right click and click Extract to Pandora Maker. Now open up the Pandora Maker file folder. Now. Open up the folder again, just until you get to updates for Pandora and PSP Tools version 08.exe. Now run the PSP Tool program. Click on Browse, and if you're wondering, um, yes, this is from another YouTube uh, video that I found this very useful, and I this guy is awesome for making this. Um, it makes it really easy to make custom, uh, to make, to install uh, custom firmware and everything. He made the nice little installer and everything. All right, click computer and click whatever drive your PSP is in. So memory stick M for, for me, and it'll open up and it'll have all your folders. Once it gets, once you click on memory stick, just click OK and click install. Now it shouldn't take too long. Now once it, it'll just close automatically. Now click on updates for Pandora. Now, if you're if, what, whatever firmware you want to install, you want to take these three right there. Make sure you have all three of these: update.pvp, 340.pvp, 150.pvp. Now, copy all of those and just paste them into the root of your memory stick. Make sure it's the very root of your memory stick. Now, this is 40 megabytes just for these three. And the other ones still take a pretty good amount. Alright, now whatever firmware you want to install, or if you just want to have all the files on there, just put them all on your PSP. Now I'm just going to put all of them on my memory stick. So, um, this does take probably about 150 megabytes, or pretty close to that at least. So you need at least a 206 megabyte memory stick, but I do recommend more. Now your memory stick needs to be a Pro Duo, because uh, Pandora batteries memory sticks don't work unless it's Pro Duo. So once that's done copying, um, you're going to want to um, just exit out, exit out. Now just, um, these are the firmware you can install. You can install official 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. 
install 3.71 update 2, M33 update 2, 3.8, M33 update 5, 3.9, M33 update 3, which is what I'm running, 4.01, M33 update 2, 5.0, M33 update 4. Now, once your PSP is out of USB connection, you want to get nice little pictures. Go to the game folder, click, click on PSP tools, and just run it. You might be able to uh, hear my game boot that I made in my pre one of my previous videos. And once it loads up, it probably won't look like this. It probably will be a different color or a different background, whatever. But you should have all these options. See, right now, the background's blue and black. Alright, so you want to click on memory stick options. Now, at the very bottom is Create Magic Memory Stick. So click on that. Now you have all these options. <coughs> now whichever um, custom firmware you want to install, um, click on that one. Um, you have to have the PVP file already on your memory stick. So whichever PVP you put on, um, you can make that one. But it must be that PVP. You can only have one of these installed on your memory stick at one time. So I'm just going to click 1.50 update flasher, original Pandora. So it loads up and it says memory stick options, blah blah blah, created by its team, C and D. Just click out. Now this will take a while. Usually takes about five minutes. So I'm just going to pause this until it's done. It's What it's going to do, it's just going to read through all the files and everything. So I'm just going to pause until it's done. Okay, now, um, since I was installing 1.5 official, it barely took any time at all. So I paused it and then I played it again. So yours probably will take longer if you're installing a firmware, like m 33s um, Yours will take a lot longer. Now it says memory stick options, boot, for memory stick, magic memory stick to boot, uh, must have serial set to O times a bunch of Fs. Do you want to set it to O plus a bunch of Fs? O, X, F, 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 F. I'm just going to click no. Um, you might want to click yes. Now, this part right here is very crucial. You want to, whatever buttons you want to use to boot your PSP into the Pandora menu, hold them down until it flashes up on the screen. So I'm just going to use L, R, and X. I'm going to hit L, R, X. I'm going to hold those down. Alright, so it says memory stick has been created. Yours probably will flash up on the screen. Now just click O. Now you've got your, you've got it, um, your custom, whatever you wanted. Now go back to the main menu and click on battery options. There's battery options. Now right, oh, I don't have a picture for that, darn. So you have all your battery options. Click on restore, or backup battery EE prompt. So click that. Now it should just uh, flash it up, saving e EEPROM to bat for battery and it'll have percent. And once it's done, it'll say saved it, blah blah blah. Zero read errors occurred. That's, not, that's what I got. So click O. Now click um, bottom three, convert this to auto boot battery, convert to service mode, convert to normal battery. Now service mode, um, I'm not sure about auto boot, but I know for a fact that service mode. Um, this will let you use your battery as a normal battery and a Pandora battery. The only way to use it as the Pandora battery, though, is you take out the battery, put it back in, and hold down whatever buttons you use. Um, and that's how you use your Pandora battery and Magic Memory Stick. Now, your battery won't work unless you have the Magic Memory Stick in, so kind of crappy, but... Alright, so that's the video. It was a lot longer than I expected, but... That's how to make a 